In this video, I'm going to demonstrate on how to set up a service charge on a Clover POS. The steps I'm going to take are going to be on a Clover Station Pro, but they will be the same across the board for all devices, starting with the Mini, Flex, or any flavor of a station. Um, so, let me go ahead and zoom in, and we shall begin. So, a service fee, uh, this is the way to add it. To get started, you want to open the app called Setup. And in the Setup, we're going to Additional Charges. All right. If you don't have the Additional Charges option, that means that you don't have the, uh, the right price plan, uh, subscription plan with Clover. You'd need the uh, higher subscription plan to ensure that you have this option. Once you have additional charges, you can enable or disable. You can put whatever percentage. I had 50%, so let's make it 100% um, to just show its trigger easily, right? Uh, double the price will always catch your eye, I say. And uh, service charge name can also be changed here. So mine says large party fee. Um, I'm just going to keep it at that. All right, so there it is. It's enabled. Um, and I want to make sure that this thing is inactive. It's inactive. Good. All right, so then you find yourself in this register app where a normal checkout experience happens, right? So you have some items that you put in your shopping cart. And as you put these items in your cart, now this option with the service fee becomes available. See in this current order, you can click on these three lines and click on add large party fee, 50%. Huh, 50%, it didn't save. Why did it not save? Let's go check it out. Have I forgotten to click save button somewhere? Mm, yeah, indeed I have. Can we not do 100%? A hundred percent. Yeah, we can. So there it is. hundred percent. All right. So let's remove. And theoretically now it should say a hundred percent. There it is. A hundred percent. Add large party fee. There it is. The fee is added. And so is the tax. And you can see that the fee is outside of the tax line. Um, and this right here is the only way to trigger it without any additional third-party apps, okay? Um, in the current order, you can add or remove. If you go to pay screen from here, you can add or remove. But again, this is the only way. You'd have to click on these three dots and add or remove the fee manually. Um, and, and, and that's how it's done. Now, if you wish to further automate the service fee, there is a third-party app. It is by CSI Works. Uh, and it's called advanced fees. There it is. I already have it set up. So see how when I turned it on, it picked up the 100% and whatever the fee is. And I have it on order. And so right now I have it uh, to trigger with a question. And the question is a very simple question. Fee with a question mark. Uh, we can also trigger it based on total spent. Right, so if the dollar amount goes over a certain percentage, uh, over a certain amount, then the fee gets triggered. But I'm going to save it on this uh, question for now. And there it is. So now we have this thing and it's active and it's a 100% fee. So I'm going to go ahead and save this current order and start a new one. Right, And so when I start a new order, I grab my beef. I say that it's 15 pounds. And there's the question. Let me see. So the question is fee, yes, no. You say yes, the fee is added. Now, you want to remove the fee at this point. Obviously, you go to the three dots and you remove the fee. Um, okay, so another way to set it up with the advanced fees is instead of the question, you can have it on always. Okay, so now it says always. I'm gonna go ahead and save, right? And close the app and there's the new order. We're gonna go and grab our beef, 15 pounds. 
and the large party fee is just automatically triggered and there it is okay and then again if you need to remove you go to this three lines and you remove but the triggering now is automatic right so watch i'm gonna go ahead and do it again new order beef there's the fee okay thank you